in today's video i'll take you through a very simple step-by-step -step process of how you can resolve the issue of tiling by creating uh, seamless textures so this is my scene um, we'll begin by creating a flow for this i I use a very useful plugin to generate it. So right now I'm on my top view. Uh, go to the command panel. Uh, go to splines. Click on line. Ensure to completely cover your perimeter walling. Under the modifier list, I'll select my plugin, which is a flow generator. Pretty basic. All I need now to do is scale my individual flow planks with 200 millimeters and uh, length 1200 millimeters. I'll also change the direction of the planks. And there we have it. Let's begin interactive rendering to see what we have. Now for our flow texture, under material editor, V-Rail material, I'll select my bitmap. Assign the material to our flow. I'll adjust the tiling since the scale of our map does not look realistic there are two ways to do this the first one under the texture map coordinates tiling u and v tile Second option, you go to the modifier list, assign a UVW map on our flow, then uh, adjust the U and V tiles to suit your scale. So as you can see, this tiling problem is what we want to resolve and it's very possible to do so. So let's go to Photoshop. I'll merge duplicates of the same texture map for our reference later.
merge the duplicates by clicking on flatten image. Select inverse and then crop. Back to our texture map, duplicate the same, control J. Then go to filter, other offset. Apply a mask to our image. Using the brush tool, glide over the middle line and reduce the hardness in the range of 20s. Be careful not to overdo it. Then merge the two layers. Using the merged map, offset the horizontal as well. Remember to have the original map as the background. Brush over the middle line, but carefully. Match the two layers. So let's see what we have managed to create. So we've been able to remove the tiling when you compare the two images. Save it as a JPEG as we will now use it as our texture map. We are now back in 3 ds Max. Go to V-Ray Bitmap. I'll pick the new texture map and assign it to our flow. And there you go, we gotten rid of the tiling problem quite well. Start interactive rendering. 
I will set up the final render to have a look at our final image. I'll also create and use specular map and bump map in order to have a realistic flow finish for our final render. I'm happy with the result. If you are interested in knowing how these are created, please check on, uh, on my video and uh, PBR materials. In this video, we learned how to resolve the problem of tiling, which is uh, common in free texture maps available on the internet. This we did by creating a seamless texture in Photoshop. As always, please thumbs up the video. It really helps. Subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or suggestions, which areas you need uh, clarification on.